Welcome to episode 2. Questions and answers are based on nursery and grow out culture of Snubnose Pompano in Marine Cages Manual, published by the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center. Choose the best answer. Question number 1. What factors will determine the design and construction of a floating marine cage? A. Location and target production only. B. Location, target production, and duration only. C. Location, target production, and financial capability only. D. Location, target production, duration, and financial capability. What factors will determine the design and construction of a floating marine cage? D. Location, target production, duration, and financial capability. Question number two. How many compartments of 5 meter by 5 meter grow out cages can be formed from a 10 meter by 10 meter bamboo cage module? A. Two compartments. B. Four compartments. C. Eight compartments. D. Sixteen compartments. How many compartments of 5 by 5 meter grow out cages can be formed from a 10 by 10 meter bamboo cage module? B. Four compartments. Question number three. What is the purpose of catwalks in the cage framework? A. To provide a comfortable resting place for the fish. B. To serve as a feeding platform. C. To allow easy access and movement around the cage. D. To provide shade for the fish. What is the purpose of catwalks in the cage framework? C. To allow easy access and movement around the cage. Question number four. How many compartments of 2 meter by 2 meter nursery cages can be formed from a 10 meter by 10 meter bamboo cage module? A. 2 compartments B. 4 compartments C. 8 compartments D. 16 compartments How many compartments of 2 by 2 meter nursery cages can be formed from a 10 by 10 meter bamboo cage module. D. 16 compartments. Question number 5. What material is used for the framework of the marine cages? A. Concrete. B. Steel. C. Bamboo. D. Plastic. What material is used for the framework of the marine cages? C. Bamboo. Question number six. How are the 2 by 2 meter compartments of nursery cages arranged in the bamboo cage module? A. Two compartments in each corner. B. Four compartments in each corner. C. Eight compartments in each corner. D. Sixteen compartments in each corner. How are the 2 by 2 meter compartments of nursery cages arranged in the bamboo cage module? B. 4 compartments in each corner. Question number 7. Why is the net mesh size selected with reference to the size of the fish in the nursery and grow out culture of Pompano? A. To provide adequate space for the fish to move freely. B. To prevent other marine species from entering the net enclosure. C. To ensure that fry or fingerlings cannot escape the net. D. To facilitate easy cleaning of the net. Why is the net mesh size selected with reference to the size of the fish in the nursery and grow out culture of Pompano? C. To ensure that the fry or fingerlings cannot escape the net. Question number eight. What are the materials needed for constructing a two meter by two meter by three meter nursery net? A. Polynet number 14 with 1.2 centimeter mesh size. B. B net double width with 0 0.5 centimeter mesh size, nylon thread, PE rope number 10, and Evlon cord. 
C. Polynet number 14 with 1.2 cm mesh size, PE rope number 10, nylon line, and fishing net needle. D. B net double width with a 0.8 cm mesh size and common materials such as nylon thread and Evlon cord. What are the materials needed for constructing a 2 meter by 2 meter by 3 meter nursery net? B. B net double width with 0.5 cm mesh size, nylon thread, PE rope number 10, and Evlon cord. Question number 9. What is the operational dimension of the 2 meter by 2 meter by 3 meter nursery net? A. 2 meter by 2 meter by 3 meter. B. 2 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter. C. 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter. D. 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter. What is the operational dimension of the 2 by 2 by 3 meter nursery net? C. 2 by 2 by 2 meters. Question number 10. How many wall panels are required to construct one unit of the 2 by 2 by 3 meter nursery net? A. 4 panels. B. 5 panels. C. 3 panels. D. 2 panels. How many wall panels are required to construct one unit of the 2 by 2 by 3 meter nursery net? A. 4 panels. Question number 11. How is the grow out net configured for the construction of a 5 by 5 by 4 meter grow out net? A. 4 5 by 5 meter wall panels and 1 5 by 5 meter floor panel. B. 5 5 by 5 meter wall panels and 1 5 by 5 meter floor panel. C. 4 5 by 4 meter wall panels and 1 5 by 5 meter floor panel. D. 4 5 by 5 meter wall panels and 1 4 by 5 meter floor panel. How is the grow out net configured for the construction of a 5 by 5 by 4 grow out net? C. 4 5 by 4 meter wall panels and 1 5 by 5 meter floor panel. Question number 12. What is the mesh size of the polynet used for the 5 by 5 meter by 4 meter grow out net? A. 0 0.5 centimeter, B. 1.2 centimeters, C. 10 centimeters, D. 14 centimeters. What is the mesh size of the polynet used for the 5 by 5 by 4 grow out net? B. 1.2 centimeters.